Welcome back everybody, some more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Um, it's a special occasion, it's the Beams Golf Collaboration Tournament Qualifiers. I know, that's a mouthful isn't it? Think of it as EG Cup 3. Uh, 18 holes, regular tees, teeny cups on Canelo. Um, looks like 8,000 people, 8,407 people have entered. Um, you get a participation prize which looks like some, <coughs> some hats. And I'm assuming they're mittens. Um, and it looks like there's some gems as a special prize if you get 10 under. Um, so we'll see what we get on. Standard gear. Fixed club skill. Let's go. So you get locked to 20 power, 10 control, 10 backspin, 10 backdoor. Standard club, standard balls. Um, yeah. So at least you got a bit of power. <laughs> I mean, you haven't quite got full whack, but you got a bit of power. However, standard clubs. So there's no, um, wow, they've branded that, haven't they? Um, so there's no hitting this thing 370, 380 yards. 260, that's our base yardage. Aye, aye, aye. So we're going to have to manage this course um, and think through our shots. And if you've watched some of my videos, you know I have a love-hate relationship with this course. Um, there's a few little holes, that bloody stone arch, um, that I've misplayed in the past. So I'm going to go fairways and greens and try and get a decent score. But 10 under with teeny cups looks a tough target, but let's see if we can get it. It'll be interesting to see what they've done with, the, with these little blow-up things, didn't they? So have they branded it up as Beams Golf? So let's find out they have. We got it inflatables. So, par five to start. Got 77 hours to do this, so I'm not in a rush. <laughs> okay, so one wood off the first. Um, may as well take the power shot. Not much wind. And I think I might just put a bit of a bit of bend on it just to avoid that tree. Uh, okay, let's go for it. <clears throat> so just a little bit of top spin and side spin, hopefully just to straighten me up a bit. And that's just not very far at all, is it? 275-ish. So 285 to go. Wow. Oh yeah, and you hit up into that really narrow choke point. Um, so you've got sand one side, you've got sand the other. You've got a fat chance of it that anywhere decent, so I'm going to lay it up a little bit. Try and get it up onto here. I give myself a decent approach shot in. Because what I don't want to do oh, is end up in the sand, he says. You go, stay up. Oh, don't go in the rough. Okay, it's on the fairway. Good. <clears throat> so it gives me 100 yards to go. And let's attack this pin, see if we can get a birdie putt. So, a bit of wind, but not much. A little bit of tailwind. We're on the pitching wedge. Flat lie. Shouldn't lose much speed. Masterful. How's that looking? Champion. There you go, she gives us a birdie pop. It's a five foot for a birdie, it's just breaking left. It's teeny cup, so we're going to think this through. Left. We're going to go right edge and a little bit firm. Hopefully, it'll hold enough to drop. There we go. Ourselves a birdie! <laughs> And let's see what I've done on here. Oh, so I've, I've managed to birdie or better everything with um, regular and teeny, but then that would have been with my um, massive custom clubs. Is a par three. It doesn't show you what you've done with standard clubs. So, par three. Wind's a little bit into our face. Seven iron. I might go up to the six iron just to give myself a little bit of, a little bit of margin. Okay. A little bit downhill. So just want to be a little... A little tweak past. Oh, good shot. Line's probably not great. Look at the sway Ooh. on the club. That's okay. That's so, seven foot. Gives us a birdie pup. Okay. So, again, it's probably a little bit... A little bit more break this time. Oh, I'm second-guessing my putt. Let's just hit it. I've hit it firm, so it should hold a bit better. There we go. Ooh. 
<clears throat> so birdie birdie start. I'll take that. Now we've got to stretch your par fours. It's a par four. Hole three. Okay. I just want to get, yeah, so we should be able to get up, but look at the slope on it here. It's going to roll off to either side if we're not careful. But with the altitude, I'm not sure I'm going to, I think I'll probably end up about here. So we might play for there. Okay. Not going to use the power shot because I want the fairway more than I want the, um, the distance. So please stay on. That's it. Stop. I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> so 127 to go. It's a fair old way uphill. But I've got a bit of tailwind to help me. I've got the A time. So let's um let's give it the beans. If I I don't want another club, or maybe want the seven. Let's go for the back of the green because of that altitude. <clears throat> see how we get on. That's not bad. It needs to spin back though. That's okay. So six foot pup. So again, it's breaking to the left. It's a little bit downhill, so I'm just a touch nervous of how much power I can safely hit it with. And that's probably too much. Will it break? It needs to break. Get in the hole. <coughs> okay. So three birdies. Can't ask for more than that from the start. Of course, there'll be some Muppet who gets 22 under. It's a par four. It's a par four. Into the wind. Again. Um, 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 do I want a bit of distance here? I think I probably do. I think I probably do. Again, I'm trying to leave myself a good second shot. Gonna pitch and bound on. Hopefully, get up. Get up a little bit. New funky music, by the way, for this one. So, left myself 92 yards. It's gonna kick right into the wind. So again, this is all about getting the right, getting the right finish on it. For want of a better term, I've overhit that. I've overhit that. Having said that, with the wind, maybe I haven't. No, I haven't at all. Wow, the wind really got it. Okay, so this is a tough birdie putt. I never read that wind properly. So it is going to break left, but I can hit it firm because I'm going uphill. Let's play. So what's that, about three and a half cups right? Maybe a touch further. Let's hit it firm. Break, 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 break. Oh, I didn't break enough. Didn't break enough. Pace was good. <clears throat> so we missed our birdie, but we'll take our part. And it was that approach that killed me, just left myself too much putting. Ah, come on Simon, you've got to read the wind. So par four. So no worries about hitting it over the top here and hitting it too far. And the question is, where is it going to land? So if we play for about there, we should end up somewhere there, I suspect. Let's go for that. Okay. And again, what I'm looking for is a nice position fairway so I get a good approach in. That looks like it's okay. Not the longest shot in the world. At 125 to go. Bit of a tail. Eight iron. Oh, I've only got ten backspin on this club. Okay. Oh, it's gone a bit right. Gonna kick left though, which is nice. That's left as a good pop. Oh my days. So there's a bit of break on this one. Breaking to the left. Mm, I strive out there. Oh, just. Just. But I'll take the birdie. So another par three. 
I've got to get this close. Par threes are tough if you don't get them close. So pin's a bit interesting because it's right in the front. Again, a little bit of tailwind to help you. Okay, and it's downhill, so let's see what we can do. Got the ultra backspin on it. See the purple indicator? Yeah, pitched on, but hopefully it'll come back. Come back, come on. Uh, yeah, over pitched it a bit. It's a 12 foot. Pretty even break. Sloping down, I think. And have I left myself too much to do again? Okay, maybe about there. Stay up, stay up. Ah, again, left myself too much to do. Focus. So it wasn't a great putt, but again, it's one of those things you just need to get it closer. Okay, four under. So four, four, five to finish the outward nine. It's a powerful. Okay, seven. I think I can just give it the beans, can't I? Yeah, not a lot to worry about here. Other than when you pitch, it's going to bounce left off that surface. Come on, Bravo. Let's put it down the right, and hopefully it'll get a nice landing. Not bounce too far left. Yeah, the slope's going to help me out there. It's okay. So 175 to go. It's a blind shot. Some trees in the way. Into the wind, so I might go up a club. And I may even put a bit of side spin on this. I may come in from left to right. Miss the um, miss the impact. But missed the tree, more importantly. Oh, skipped on, didn't it? Really skipped on. So, 21 foot. Tough birdie pup. Tough birdie pup. So, reasonably even break. But again, I've got to kind of just leave it. Or it's going to roll past a mile. What's that going to do? Oh, that's not bad. I got it close. Just relax. Oh, this is a tough course. That approach didn't help me. Okay, so we're at seven. Four under after seven. Four and a five to finish. If we can get to five under, I'll be pleased. It's a par four. Okay. Oh, I remember this one. Played this out a few times. So again, this is about getting this, getting this up there as far as we can. So again, we're going to go for a bit of top and side spin. Great shot. Just to bring it round. That's all right. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, that'll just sort of sit up there. Oh, if you asked me to drop the ball, I don't think I could have dropped it anywhere better. So, 97 and a half to go. A little bit of wind. Mm. Pitching wedge. Wind will get hold of it. Missed the impact, wanted a bit of backspin on that, if I'm honest. Okay, so a seven footer. Not much break on it, it's quite flat. Let's not overthink it. Let's sink it. Get in. Good birdie, good birdie. So I guess it's a five under, I'm going to par five to finish out the, um, the first nine. Oh my! It's a par five. Okay. Let's have, let's have a look. Again, that's not an option today. We just end up in the little choke point, don't we? There's a bit of wind, so we'll play it with a. Actually, where's that's going to pitch, isn't it? And so it's going to probably pitch about here and kick left. So I probably want to be about here. Okay. Do I want a power shot? I don't think I do want a power shot. I might save it. Oh, good shot. Nice shot. I just bounced over the nasty little bit of rough there. That's okay. 
still 325 to go. How I miss my um, level 21 custom clubs. Um, so two choices here. One is to lay up here, but leave yourself a really long approach. The other is to give it the beans. Somewhere like there. Mm. you got a risk of ending up in the sand, but I think I want the length, so we might just go for this. Got a bit of top spin on it. All going to depend on where it pitches. I've got a good pitch. Ah, it's in the sand, but it's not bad. It's not awful. It's not plugged or anything silly. So, tough approach in. Again, probably could see if I can get a good contact on this. Got the perfect. Got a bit of backspin on it, but of course, off the lie, you won't get much grip. Right, it oh, yeah. doesn't tell me you don't want a load of grip. So, 18 footer. For a birdie. For a birdie. Oh. Up hill. Breaking to the right. It is breaking right, Suzuki. But how much? Well, we've got to hit this firm. Let's try that. Get in the hole. Oh! Please with that. Please with that. So six under for the first nine. Yeah, there's a few little missed putts in there. If you look, the one and a half and two and a half that I missed, and the 1.8. But overall, I'm not displeased with that. So let's play the inward nine. Let's see how we get on. So it's a par four. Out ten. Again, tons of altitude on this one. Probably want to get up into the corner. Oh, and this is all about do you feel lucky, punk? How much distance do I think I've got? I kind of want to curl it around the trees and end up there. But then again, I could sort of play up to here. I'll give myself that second shot in. Because I'm saving some distance there, but I'm taking a bunch of risk. So we're going to play for here. I'm going to play the safe shot. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we've got a nice safe position. Left us 127. A little bit of tailwind. Is that bunker just guarding the front? It's gonna kick a bit from the um from the lie. It's a little bit uphill, so let's hit it a little bit past. Got the ultra backspin. Lines are not great, but it's alright. Grip, 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 come back. That's alright. So, nine foot pop. Oh, it's a nice break. I think I can read that a little bit. Let's play it about half a cup. Half a cup, right. Get in the hole. It's a seven under. Par five to come. Oh, eleven. It's a par five. Okay. Yeah, you just got that little brook there, just to, just to mess with you. One option is to play there, although that's going to roll you there. The safe play is to lay up, which is what we might do. But there doesn't be a very good second shot in. I mean, can't you can't go for it? You just can't. You can't rely on getting it. Getting it there. That's risky. So maybe that's the play. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Bit of backspin. Try and stop it. That's all right. That's all right. Again, we haven't got a shot the fairway here. And again, if we put a little bit of left to right on it, 
just a little bit of curl into the wind to try and straighten it up a bit. Hopefully we're in a good position on the fairway. Oh, no, don't get in the way of that tree. Ah, oh, tree's in the way. Well, we got a shot at the green and we're in approach range. So again, maybe about there. Okay, I can probably play that straight. And it's going to kick left anyway. Okay. Cleared the tree. Right, okay. Eight foot. Oh, and it's a super flat putt as well. There's no break on that. Eight under. And again, it's it's about giving yourself that putt, getting it close enough to give yourself a putt, a makeable putt with teeny cups. Is a par three. So another par three. Again, pin's not awful. A little bit of little bit of wind. Okay, so let's try and hit it past. Oh, not that far past. And bring it back. But again, I've probably underread the wind. What's that like? That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, underread it slightly. But again, inside nine foot. So it is going to break a little bit. Sloping downhill, breaking to the left. So let's just play the right edge and not too firm. And she goes. Nine under. All part of the plan. That's a good start. Very, very, very start. Thirteen. Ah, <laughs> you're not cutting the corner today, are we? So normally, when you've got your um, your level 21s, you can go over here and cut that corner. Now, um, there is kind of that. I've never wanted to play there, because the other option to play over here... So your option is to play about there. Bear in mind, we've got a bit of a wind. Again, I'm going to have to move my shot, I think, aren't I? If we're going to go with that. Um, what's a better line? Is that a better line? There'll be a short delay while I sort my course management out. So maybe there. Okay. Let's go for it. Oh, good shot. Suzuki likes it. Oh, that might be too hard. That might be really too hard. Stop, 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 stop. Oof. 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 I'll confess I thought that was wet. Okay, so we're in the rough. We've got a bit of wind as well. So let's maybe go there. This might be a struggle to get it close. See what we can do. Masterful. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. And it's probably a better line than coming in with a 300 yard. If we got that on the fairway, that would be much simpler. Okay. So I think that's going to break about a cup. Don't hit it too soft. Ah, I hit that too soft. That needed a touch more pace. Ah, missed the birdie. Missed the birdie there. But hey, what can you do? So nine under. Ah, it's a powerful. The bloody arch. So, if you've not played this hole before, um, you can play up here and get a shot over the top of the arch. But if you do, you've got to kind of get up there and stop it because if you're too far back, you'll clip the arch. Now we're into the headwind here. So I'm not too scared because I should be able to get this up and stop it. Masterful. But pride becomes before a fall. Stop, 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 stop. No, that's on the rough. That's okay. It's 150 to go. Okay, into the headwind. Six iron. Might need a little bit more club if I'm honest. 
see how we get on. Oh, I got all of it. 95%. It's on the green. Oh, that's not bad. Just needs to stop. Okay. Little bit of break on it, but nothing to worry about. Pretty flat. Get in the hole. There we go. So that gets us to the magical 10 under. Four holes left. And I got past one of my bogey holes. It's a par three. So par three. Gotta get this close. Tailwind. Okay. A time so it'll catch it. Ah, missed the backspin impact. Yeah, skipped on, skipped on. That's going to be a tough putt back. It's a 22 foot. Pretty even break. Oh, reading that. Let's try that, maybe. Okay, and hit it firm. One of these has got to go in. Ah, again. Again. 20 foot putts are just not the game to be playing. Got to get that inside about 9 foot. So, that's a par, it's another miss. Three holes left. 4-5-4 four, four finish. So 16. I'm very glad the final's on normal cups and not um, teeny. So again, your other option here is to play up here. Um, and give yourself a shot over that little bit of um, car park there. Which we might take for no other reason than Bravo. I've done it a few times before. You get a nice bit of fairway, you get good sight of the pin. Nothing in the way, hopefully. I got the ultra backspin. So 93 to go. A bit of a tailwind that's going to blow me across. It's going to kick a little bit right. We're on the approach wedge, so the wind will catch it. Got the ultra back spin. Masterful. All about where it lands. All about where it lands. Good, good. That's not bad. Come back. Get in the hole. Oh! Nice. For a <sighs> and I loved an eagle. And I loved an eagle. But I'll take my half foot birdie. I should get credit half foot birdie. So two holes to go. 11 under. Hole 17. Ah, oh, 17. No chance of the Condor here. So, we're downwind though. Which is good. See, there's a little trick you can do. You can play down that, down that street. And I've seen people play down that fairway as well. We're going to play it conventionally. We may as well use the power shot. And we'll try and put a bit of shape on it as well. Got the impact. A bit of luck, it just nips the corner and pops round. Like that. There you go. So still 233 to go. Ah uh, then. A lot of wind. I'm gonna play in with an iron, so this could just be the most entertaining thing ever. Masterful. Where's that gonna go? It got the fairway, so it should run on, run onto the green nicely. I'll take it. It's a 25 foot for an eagle. Poof. Okay, so it's flat, but there's a fair bit of break on it. Let's try that. Go on, yes! I was due one, I was due one, wasn't I? Well, that makes up for the last hole. It's a 13. Oh, you're good. This will be the last. Oh, 18. 18, it's par, par four. 4. Now, can you hit it straight down the throat? So one option here is basically you just blat it. Um, and one of two things happens. One, you hit the fairway and it bounces out the back and you end up in the sand. Or you end up in the sand there. Or you play the water skip. Now, there's a massive tailwind on here. I'm going to go for the water skip. 
when this ends up in the water, you're all allowed to, in the comments, tell me what a fool I am for risking it. Oh, God. One skip. Ah, oh, that's got enough legs. Get up there! Ho, ho, ho. I'll take it. So, can we get the chip in? Can we get the chip in? Hit the flag. Nice. Ah, just too far. Just too far. That needed to hit the flag, really, to have a chance. So we got a chance at the birdie. Got a chance at the birdie. Tough part, but we can make it. Get him. So 14 under. Yeah, I'm happy with 14 under, if I'm honest. Could have done better. Certainly those two on the front line. So 16, I could have got 16 under. But again, you know, there was the eagle I missed. But I got my um, my special prize. And I suppose we'll see where we end up. If you're going to play, please comment and, and put your scores in. I'd love to know how you get on. Um, and with a bit of luck, we might get to the finals. And if we do, I may live stream it over the weekend. Um, so hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like, share and subscribe. Please leave a comment and, you know, share some hints and tips. And if you're going to play, I hope you do really well. And I'll speak to you next time for a bit more Everybody's Golf.